Welcome back guys, as always, I'm Dan at Tringshu Repair and Key Shop and welcome to the 60K special. Yep, we've just hit 60,000 subscribers, something I didn't even dream would happen when I started this channel. So this episode is going to be looking at the best bits and some of my favorite bits over the past nine months. So grab a drink, put your feet up and enjoy the show. So once again, welcome back and welcome to the 60K special. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I first scheduled this video, it was the 50K special, but the channel's just snowballed so much over the past couple of weeks that I had to change it to the 60K special. Now, huge milestone for this channel and it's all because of you guys. I couldn't have done it without you, so thank you for helping me make the channel into something I love, every single one of you. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Some of you will see some bits that you might have missed. So I think we should kick things off by looking at the journey so far, starting with my very first episode. Have you ever wondered just how is a key cut? Keep watching to find out how. Okay, everyone, we're here at the shop in Tring, which is half the street in the UK. It's right in the middle of town on the high street and it's a bit of a miserable day today, so let's hurry up and get inside. Wham! What are these bananas? Keep watching to see what we're doing. Hello guys, my YouTube squad, welcome back. Uh, today's a special video, reason being we've just hit 1,000 subscribers and that's all you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me make the channel into something. Now while I'm doing this repair, we can try and figure out who these boots belong to. I'm thinking, uh, Banana Man? No, Banana Man's missus. SpongeBob SquarePants? Who knows? Next question. This is just a secret laptop. I'm not actually reading the questions off with it, but uh, that's a secret for me and you guys. And it's a laser key or a cavity cut key. So as you can see, there's a channel cut down the middle rather than cuts along the edges. So this basically made the lock harder to pick for the dirty criminals trying to steal your car. Today, I've got a longer, more detailed video for you today of a full leather sole repair on a pair of churches. My first shop was not actually here in Tring. It was in Leighton Buzzard. Uh, Linslade shoe repairs it was cool little place and uh, done me well for six years really enjoyed it and then I made the move to Tring shoe repairs happy new year I missed a chance to say Merry Christmas but what can you do uh, now there's a whole bunch of you new subscribers turn up since the last time I uploaded so welcome aboard I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch the whole thing cue motivational montage G'day folks and welcome back to the Tring Shoe Repair and Key Shop channel. As always, I'm Dan. I've got a Bonza video for you today as we've got these lovely RM Williams boots all the way from Australia. Okay, so where we're up to is a soles on and this is the point where I just tape up the, around the uppers just to protect it from any grease or marks from the machinery we're about to put it on. Uh, 10 points if you noticed I've changed my hat. Ravens. It's my birthday, everyone. Special birthday episode. I've got my favorite birthday t-shirt on. It's a cat eating pizza and tacos. Welcome to Fairy Friends Part 1. What's oh, coming? Good boy. <laughs> Actually, just one second. I need to show you. A lot of people ask me how I manage to keep up with all the work. The truth is, I can't. I have help. The elves help me at night and if you look here, I can show you where they live. This is their house and you can kind of see where they've been coming out at night. We've just hit 20,000 subscribers. Such a milestone for our wee little channel. So thank you so much all you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Welcome to all my new subscribers. So we're just gonna crank the heat on, gently apply some heat. Be very careful not to heat up my hand or Ron. Look out Ron. And in fact, carry on this video tomorrow because it's night time now, but I will catch you in a bit. Mm. 
Uh, listen up, just while I'm doing these stitches, I wanted to take a minute to say thank you to you guys. Uh, being the birthday special, what better way to show some gratitude than now? And that is for everyone that's reached out over the past six months, be it on the comments in the videos, showing support, or sending me work to do, or, or especially the emails uh, I get back from customers saying they're glad, really happy with my work. It really means a lot. All right, gang, now moving on. What sort of shoe repair channel best fits episode would this be without looking at some of the shoe repairs? So let's see some of the action. gang so we're all stitched on so next order of business is to glue down these flaps so come here Ron now because I left our sole in the flash lamp just a little bit too long it's about as hot as the surface of the Sun but that just means it's gonna stick really well and then take our heat gun, which I like to pretend is a ray gun. Pew, pew, apply some heat. And now the trick to superb priming is to apply your primer to hot material. And that really lets the chemicals bond together like they're best friends that just don't want to be parted. So, getting there, looking pretty fresh. Now, as you can guess, I'm being quite delicate when I'm doing all this trimming. These are in really tough, to be honest, because they're the original stitches, but uh, I'm not gonna force you to sit here and watch me do the whole thing, so I may as well get on with the other shoe. Cue multitasking montage. Also, got my very old dirty Star Wars mug for our glue because I don't use the 62 that much. I am your father. And they're not your father. Look, no, this is the old soul. It's like an, like an egg monster from Mars, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so now we head over to the groover and cut a channel for the stitches to sit in. You know, I always think when we're doing this job, there should be some sort of tense music or some, some epic music. Let's see if we can find some epic Star Wars music. If you don't whack these hard, they can ping off into the sunset, which you might be lucky enough to see if I don't do it properly. Ah, told you.
obviously we need to make sure this is nice and straight everything's lined up nicely in the middle because because if it's wonky you'll end up walking in circles okay guys now i know most of you are here because you just want to see serious professional sensible shoe repairs but sometimes you just gotta have a laugh what's made of leather and sneezes a shoe get it all right gang now i've got to be on the lookout because i hear there's a big nasty croc in the area crikey what a beastie but it's all right i think he's scarpered for a minute so we can carry on daughter of the king asks i wonder what happens if you put your hand in the presser put your hand under the presser good question let's find out Tell me something funny that happened recently in the shop. Uh, one that springs to mind straight away is a lady of a little girl came in. Bear in mind, I have my uniform, my red shirt. The little girl said, Mummy, the man looks like a tomato with cool hair. <laughs> Hold up, guys. I think the croc's back. Blimey, he's after me. Crikey. One of my Edison bulbs has blown. There's UPS man. Hello, UPS man. Now then, I need your help, folks. What shall I replace it with? So this is the one that's blown, and our choices are option A, big, long, fat one, or option B, short, stumpy, cool one. Everybody vote now. I'm just joking. You can't vote now, can you? Because it's not live. Ta-da! Got to put my mask on. You know, one thing is, I actually don't mind wearing these masks so much because it kind of makes me feel like I'm in Street Fighter. Perfect. Okay, we're back and ready for Act Two. I always feel like there should be some tense music, like uh, like when Spock had to fight Captain Kirk. Right, let's concentrate, come on. If we don't fight, Captain, they will kill us both. Right, that's enough of that. Okay, so next, um, what sort of shoe repair channel best fits episode would this be? without having a look at some of the finished shoe repairs. Let's take a look. Okay, so that is the video. We're done with our Jeffrey West boot repair with our crepe sole. Hope you enjoyed seeing something different this week. Okay, folks, job done. New day-night soles and heels on our RM William boots. And I think they've come out really nice. Job done. And our Altbergs are looking pretty sweet with their new Vibram unit. So our Anthony Cleverly's had a nice condition and polish, but mainly full. JR leather soles, of course with blind stitch, JR dovetail heels, if I can get that in the light for you. Of course the Lulu toe plates, the custom fiddleback waist, and uh, this nice glossy finish. So here we are, polished boots, drum roll please. Da, 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 da. Before, after, look at that. New Vibram units on our Timberlands. Leather midsoles and refurbished the uppers. Now, I'm very happy with that job. So there we go, guys, job done. Full JR soles, JR dovetail heels, custom red paint job, Triumph toe plates, Blake stitched, and a condition. I think they look fantastic. Finished with our new rubber units on these Donatello riding boots. Okay, gang, that is the job done. So we've taken these old tired boots Replaced them with a Vibram outsole, leather midsole, new padded collars, new linings, fixed the stability issue at the back of a new heel counter. So we've had leather soles, hobnails, toe plates, horseshoe heels, and a tidy up. Okay, cool. So our motocross boots are done. Sole on, toe plates are on. I've got a sore back, sore hands. To be honest, I'm glad to see the back of this job. Ron, are you glad to see the back of this job? Whoa, 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 let's try and keep this PG, Ron. I can't believe you just said that. Ducks. Okay, so next part of the show, guests. I've had some guests on the channel. I try and spice it up for you guys, keep it interesting. We're going to have many more guests as the channel goes on. But for now, let's have a look at who's been in to visit. 
Okay. And come to collect your batteries. Oh, nice one, cool. How much do you reckon this is gonna get me then? About 30 quid, mate, judging by the weight. 30 quid? Take it. I've got kids to feed. Well, go Iceland. Hi, Dad. Hi, mate. You. Cheers. We're dressing up for Halloween. I've got my assistant, Jack, here, our costume designer. Say hello to the fans, Jack. Bonjour. There he is. But luckily, George was rescued by Dan's father, Perry. Okay, guys, now, before we finish the video, I've got some really exciting news. Mel's coming right now to pick up his bin. So here he is, Mel Gibson, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Mel? Oh man, it's in a, you're taller than I remember. You've been working out, you look jacked. Jesus, man. Morning, mate, happy birthday. Hello. You bought your coffee. Wonderful. All right, guys, this is Terry, the window cleaner. He's bought me a birthday coffee and look, a little birthday biscuit as well. He's like, he's like the father Christmas of window cleaning, aren't you? <laughs> for Will Smith in the snow. How's that? You look for his fresh prints. Oh God. <laughs> but for now, we're just getting a quick commercial break. I've got a guest for you on the channel. It's going to be fun. I've promised I'd give him a shout out for a couple of weeks now. Let me ask you guys a question. Who's ready to rock? This is my friend Mark. He's got a channel on playing guitar. He's an awesome guitarist. Let's see some action. Okay, so as much as I might try and be a professional cobbler and come across as presentable in my videos, things don't always go to plan. He's crying for a minute, it's right. It takes a strong man to cry. <laughs> Today I'm showing you one of our deluxe jobs that we've got in. We've got these nice... So we've got these lovely Trickers Chelsea boots in for a full leather resole. Keep watching to see how we do. See how we do? All right, my lovely people, it's business time. So first thing we're gonna do for these uppers is uh, clean them and prepare them to be nourished. So we're gonna use our uh, Saphir cleanser. Ah! Really a case of... Hey, come on, man, you can do better. Behold. The terrifying vision of. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just start. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Tring Shoe Repair and Facebook Shop. Facebook Shop. Come on, man. All right, guys. Moving on. Now, it just wouldn't be a 60k special without having a look at everybody's favourite, lovable animatronic cobbler, George. Today I'm actually introducing to you somebody that you've already seen at the beginning of every video. Keep watching to find out who. George is his name, our little man in the window. He's a local celebrity, he's a real ladies man. He's the one who fixes the shoes at night when I haven't worked hard enough. But he didn't always have a happy life. George wasn't always the successful superstar you might think. Originally, he was found abandoned in a cellar. Cold, alone, and with a serious drinking problem. And behold, the terrifying sight of Mummy George. Once you've seen George with no clothes on, you can't unsee it. Are you ready, Jack? I'm ready. I'm sorry, everyone. Don't worry, it's over. I've put his clothes back on. Is everyone all right? Jack, you all right? <laughs> now, I'm just going to throw this bit in there. I don't quite know how to introduce it. So all I'm going to say is rock and roll. Let's get sticky. Time to get sticky. So let's get sticky. So let's get sticky. Let's get sticky. 
So we're going to take our contact adhesive and get sticky. Sticky, sticky. Getting sticky. Apply it all around the edge here. Okay, rock and roll. Let's get on with the job. Okay, rock and roll. Okay, guys, rock and roll. So now we're at the stage where we can get our sole on. Right, rock and roll. So as I said, we're using the Blake stitcher today to stitch our sole on. Okay, rock and roll. And that is the end of the video, guys. And relax. That was actually quite challenging to make. There was a lot of editing, sifting through all the old clips and putting it all together. Uh, but I really enjoyed making it. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you made it all the way to the end, hit like. It helps other people see this content. And well done for making it all the way to the end. If you're new to the channel, what a random episode to stumble across. But uh, subscribe. I'm doing new videos every week. Um, really appreciate you guys, my regulars, for checking in. Uh, I've got a link to Patreon in the description if you want to support the channel in some small way. But for that, I'm going to leave you, get out of it, say thanks once again for watching, and I'll catch you next week.